Okay, I want to show an example of one of the main reasons I love making games. And it's something called systemic design, or sometimes called emergent gameplay. Basically means instead of coding individual interactions, you just code generic systems. So in Jelly Car, for example, the reason the car drives at all is because the tires are just turning and there's friction with the ground. There's no special code that says push the car, it just says turn the wheels. I also have the sticky tires mechanic you're seeing here, which just sticks the tires to whatever they touch. And whatever they touch might be a moving object. So I don't have any special code here that says sticky tires stick to moving objects. Sticky tires just stick and moving objects just move. And coming up here is my favorite example of this. So I have this little puzzle I was able to make just by combining systems that I create in the game. Like this, we have a button, it will make an object move. It opens up a doorway. I want to get out to the left here to continue the level. But as soon as I leave, it turns off, right? But I can combine sticky tires with conveyor belts, with car driving, with dynamic objects, to pop that object off the side like that. Look at that. And then I can stick onto it right here. And my, my weight is going to pull it down and cause it to rotate like that. So I didn't code anything specific here to make this puzzle, but I was able to make this puzzle by simply combining and uncovering the combinations that are possible in the systems that are in the game in the first place. And this kind of thing makes designing games really fun because I feel like I'm discovering something when I make a puzzle like this, as opposed to just slogging through coming up with a puzzle and coding the specific interactions.